What is up guys? Welcome back to another daily build video. This time we're checking out the Lamborghini Urus in Street 2. Let's go. Real quick before I get into the video, if you're looking for any of my Motorfest tunes or my Need for Speed Heat builds, I've moved everything to my website. It's MilitiaGamingCo.com. There's links in the main navigation menu for Need for Speed Heat builds and Motorfest Pro settings. So click those if you're looking for that. The link to the site is actually in the description of this video. All right, enjoy. All right, before we get into the Pro settings, I just want to talk about the car a little bit here. Uh, it's a big SUV and it sort of feels like a big SUV. The lateral G-Stat is not great. It doesn't handle the best, so you really have to be careful with it in turns. However, it accelerates like a monster, dude. Like, honestly, just crazy, crazy acceleration. And because of that, I think that it is semi-viable in the grand races. Um, it just feels like you have to be very cautious of two things. The first is your cornering. So you cannot enter corners too fast. You will ruin your race you'll go wide you'll understeer uh the back end will slide on you something bad will happen if you enter the corner too fast it doesn't have the braking power or the ability to take a corner to sort of fix that mistake for you and then secondly you really need to be careful with your nos management you have to be able to conserve your nos when you can and use your nos in the right spots which is usually after the corner and accelerating back to top speed if you have a slipstream you can hang with some people but uh it's definitely not going to blow anybody away it's just a sort of fun off meta really just different car that you guys can use and have fun with However, it does take a little bit of getting used to and a little bit of skill to uh, sort of manage your NOS and just pay attention to not entering corners too fast. Anyway, that being said, here is the pro settings for it. And then we'll show you my fastest run on Kyusha Spirit, which is actually really good for a big SUV like this. And then we'll get out to a grand race. So starting with the power distribution, we're at 45%. For the brake balance, we're at 70% in the front. And then for the suspension, we've got zero in the front, uh, plus five for the spring rear, zero in the compression front, and plus five in the compression rear, plus six on both rebound front and rear. And then for the anti-roll bars, they're at plus 10 on both, and the camber is at minus 0.25 on both. The biggest issue and the biggest hurdle this car faces in a stock state is that the back end is very loose. It just doesn't have enough downforce. It doesn't have enough grip in the back. And so everything that I've done here is just to sort of give it a little bit more grip and then maybe a little bit more steering responsiveness. It does steer just a tiny bit sluggish, but not too bad. So this car is actually yeah, semi-fun to use. Let's uh, show you the fastest run on Cayusha and then I'll get out to a grand race.
All right, here we go. Eurus is up last. So hopefully, if I am in a good position, it doesn't lose many places, but no guarantees there. If we're going up against any of the meta cars at the end of this race, it's going to be a tough challenge. So here we go. God, the bleeds acceleration is just top notch, dude. Look at this. Oh my goodness, that corner just, that is a field killer, that corner, bro. There's a way to take that without hitting that wall. And uh, I'm going to have to ask Simji about it because I never seem to get it. All right, RNG jump. Here we go. an early lead i don't know if this is gonna stay ah i totally just steered incorrectly like i just didn't steer that's just terrible Holy jumps, dude. The car needs to stay on the ground, bro. Let's see which way we going. We're going straight. All right, here we go, Alpha GP. Can I? Stay in first place. I don't see anybody yet. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. I got to see him. Now, one thing I've noticed with Alpha GP is it's super important to be exiting the turn in the right gear. It needs to be the optimal gear for the speed that you're going. It just comes with time you know just knowing which corner is fast which corner you can you can take which uh you know in which gear oh that was a little mistake on that part went a little wide not the line i wanted really tempted to cut this corner but in AGP I usually don't Whew. I had to concentrate there all right let's see what we can do here in the big body yeah you got to be careful of that turn man that thing creeps up on you so fast all 
All right, the things I talked about in the early part of the video was NOS management and not entering corners too fast. Just know what the car is capable of and try to stick to that. That's the goal here. Following the braking line is important for this car, even if it makes you take turns a little bit slower. The acceleration on this car is good. So take the turn slower. Went a little wide there. Doing all right. There is someone catching us. I can see his little triangle. It's Ron, uh, Ronaldo, looks like. I was gonna say Ronald. It's also a path that I'm not like the most familiar with. I know these city sections pretty well, but oh no, it's the jump. All right, the Lambo takes the jumps pretty well. It's got pretty soft suspension, so it handles that pretty well. I think we're pretty safe. We have secured the dub. All right. GG's to second and third place, but um, uh, just the lead that I was able to get with uh, the first two cars, I think, really secured it for me. If I had to fight uh, Ronaldo's Hurricane here. Is this a Hurricane? Looks like it. Yes. Maybe not. I don't know, dude. All the Lambos look the same, bro. Looks like a hurricane to me. Anyways, <laughs> this guy is uh, is actually fun to use. Um, as you can see, it is a heavy car and it and it acts heavy. Uh, I had to slow down a lot for some of those corners, whereas you could probably rip through them on uh, either the 993 or the Hurricane. Uh, the C6, you know, those cars, those meta cars are really good for taking those turns. I'm really surprised I didn't get caught. I must have had a pretty decent lead going into it. So anyway, just a fun car for you guys. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this video, don't hesitate to ask. Just a quick note before I end the video, I did open up memberships on the channel again. So if you want to support the channel, please become a member. And there's all kinds of great perks that you get with being a member of the militia. You get sneak peeks at all of the upcoming videos. You get a 20% off coupon for my shitbox t-shirt store, and you'll get members badges and emotes or emojis that you can use in stream in the chat. So anyway, if you want to support the channel, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next daily build trigger out.